Good evening, everybody. My name is Jake DeFlitch. I'm one of the meteorologists here at the National Weather Service in Seattle. And like I mentioned with the first video, with the virtual tour, what we want to start doing is these very short, you know, two to three minute long weather videos over the next few weeks. Now that we're kind of home more often than not, and hopefully you'll find them both educational and informative. Um, we'll talk about some of the local weather phenomena across our area, uh, maybe meet with some of the forecasters, uh, and then possibly do some experiments along the way. So, figured we start off this evening talking about the Puget Sound Conversion Zone. Um, we mention it a lot, so often, um, really any time of year, and figure we jump into that and talk about some details, how it forms, how, the, how it develops, and whatnot. So, I'm first going to draw the state of Washington on the whiteboard, and then we're, we're going to jump into it. Well, now that that's all drawn, we can actually get into the nitty gritty of how the convergence zone develops. Now, usually the Puget Sound convergence zone develops after we have a weather system move through, usually a front that moves through the area, and we have more scattered showers rather than kind of this consistent rain. So what we have is after the front moves through, we usually have, excuse me, let me get the other color marker. We have, usually have these winds here with the green marker coming through the Strait of Juan de Fuca from Vancouver, between Vancouver Island and Olympic Peninsula and they're making their way down through the Puget Sound area, and when they filter out into the Puget Sound, they usually kind of do so more in a southerly direction, so the winds here are coming from the north. Now the Olympics here are kind of acting like a barrier to the winds, so then the winds here in this direction are kind of coming more from, the, again, the westerly direction, but then kind of sliding northward. So what we have is this convergence zone of winds, hence the name, the Puget Sound Convergence Zone, that usually develops somewhere kind of in the Snohomish-King County area. Now that can fluctuate, sometimes it develops farther north towards Skagit County or even farther south, even towards Pierce County, but generally the King County, Snohomish County line is a good prox proxy of kind of where it usually sets up. Now what happens when these winds kind of converge on the same place? Uh, let's kind of go over that really quickly. Sorry, Eastern Washington, I'm gonna take away your half of the state for a second. So we have winds at the surface coming this direction, then we have winds coming this direction. And when air converges, the air is going to rise with the only place it can go. So we have air rising here, and then we have usually we'll have cloud development forming, have some convection, and this can produce rainfall, obviously if it's during the summer, fall, or even springtime. But it can produce you know, higher snow amounts locally, especially around the Everett area down towards Linwood. We saw that, that this past January when we had I-5 covered uh, in, a, in a light amount of snow, but a little bit farther south, just a few miles, it was kind of dry and sunny out. So this can fluctuate this very narrow band, but generally that's kind of where it sets up and also can impact the mountains as well for some enhanced snowfall over the passes. So that's kind of it on the Puget Sound Convergence Zone. If you have any other ideas, feel free to send them along and we'll see what we can do over the next few weeks.